Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Well, hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, Merry Trailer Park Christmas. I'm so happy to spend the holidays with you because I'm releasing a new video every day until December 25th. And if you're just now seeing just this video, you've missed a few. And I've got a calendar on my website, trailerparkchristmas.com, that you can follow along with. And if you look back, I did a brownie the day before. And the day before that, I did a great casserole. And then on the first day, I did gumdrop bread. And it's made out of gumdrops. And they, they're just a sign of the season. And it's just great on the buffet table for the holidays. But I see today that it says Dunkin' and Dippin', and that means cookies to me. And I thought about an unusual cookie that you can surprise your guest with this holiday. And, you know, sometimes I have a leftover bag of potato chips. I don't know how I didn't eat it all, but sometimes I lay around, maybe I ran out of the house on vacation or something, and they're leftover. Well, guess what? You could use these to make a great cookie. Yes, that's right. You can take potato chips and make a cookie out of them. Today, we're going to be making a lemon potato chip cookie that will really surprise your friends around the holiday. And I'm going to show you up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2013. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my lemon potato chip cookies is really simple. The holidays is always a great time to surprise your friends with a new recipe, and I think this one will be a winner. Today I'm using a stand mixer, but you can mix this by hand. What we're gonna do is I've got four sticks of butter right here. I know that's a lot, and I've softened it a little bit too. And well, it actually, um, with the lights in the kitchen, it actually melted down a little bit more than I thought it would. But then I've got a cup of granulated sugar. That goes right on into the bowl just like that. Let's whip this around and get that going and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Next up, I made lemon zest with a fresh lemon and I made two teaspoons full of that. Then I squeezed the lemon and I made two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Put that right on there into the mixture. Next up, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla. You know I don't measure that yet. And as you see, I get it from my childhood pharmacist. He's retired, but if you're in the know, you can still get it. And yes, it's in a cough syrup bottle, but I love it, and it just smells so good. Next, I add about a teaspoon of almond extract to the mixture. That adds kind of a slight cherry taste to it. So I just add that right on into the mixture. Then I dump a cup of crushed potato chips. Just regular potato chips. It's okay if they have salt on them because we really didn't add any to the cookie batter. So let's go ahead and add that to that. And now I have three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to add this slowly at a time so it makes a batter. So let me get that started. Now it's your choice to dress up the cookies how you want them. You can actually decorate it when they come out of the oven, but you know, it's not Christmas without some food coloring, so I'm going to put some green food coloring in there to make them all pretty for the holidays. Okay, I have our lemon potato chip cookie batter here, and I just have a regular baking sheet. I preheated the oven at 375 degrees, and I've got a cookie scooper, but you can make just little tiny balls and put it on there and you're going to use a fork to press them down. But I'm just going to take this and make little blobs right there on the actual baking pan. 
Who are you going to surprise these cookies with? Leave a comment down at the bottom and let me know. What are you cooking right now during the holidays? Leave a comment about that too. I mean, we just cooked a whole bunch of things already here on Trailer Park Christmas and there's lots more in store too because it's 25 days of videos and I think I gained some weight during this whole series and I hope you appreciate that. You know, I have to look glamorous um, come the new year, but um, what color would you make your cookies? Um, I like the green. I think that looks festive. I think that would look great and accentuate the Christmas tree with um, the green, but um, let's see. Let's put one more on the tray there, and I've got a fork here, and what we're going to do is we're just going to smash them down a little bit, just like that. There we go, kind of like peanut butter cookies, um, but it just kind of adds a little decoration to them. And we're going to pop these in the oven for about 15 or so minutes. You're going to keep an eye on them so they don't burn. So go ahead and set your timer. And there you have it, my lemon potato chip cookies. And won't that surprise someone on the buffet table this Christmas? And I made them a pretty green because it's not a holiday without food coloring. And you could probably put some decoration up on top or some icing. And um, they're just great for the holidays because they'll really surprise someone when you tell them that they're made with potato chips. And it's a snack food and a dessert all in one. I mean, what more could you ask for for the holidays? I can't wait to try one, so let me just take a bite. Mmm! That is nice and crisp and citrusy and lemony and I t it's kind of, you know, you can't taste the potato chips at all. It's got a nice kind of salty, um, sweet taste and wow, those are surprising. I hope you get a chance to make my lemon potato chip cookies, and if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. And, of course, add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm Jolene Sugar Baker there. And, of course, follow along on the calendar from TrailerParkChristmas.com. There's all sorts of recipes coming up, and let's see. Tomorrow, Thursday, is a five flavor cake that you have to tune in for. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about Trailer Park Christmas 2013 so they can follow along too. I'm so glad to spend the holidays with you and I'll see you back tomorrow. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with bye. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.